You know, Sennheiser always knew how to take something that we loved and improve it and make it even better. Today we are reviewing the Sennheiser HD660 S2. This is a retuning or a re-release of a really popular headphone. It's been so many years since they first released this model. So the first Sennheiser HD600 has been released 97. Just imagine this, we are in 2023. So it has been 26 years since HD600 first appeared on the market. The model we have today has been released recently and this one comes as a retuning because I also reviewed the original 660S and this is the S2. So let's shorten the name to spend less time thinking about the name and more time thinking about the sound. This is a headphone that is immensely comfortable actually and it feels like they didn't just retune them, they redesigned them. They feel much better than the 660S felt when I reviewed it. Now I don't think I did a video on that one because I reviewed it in writing way before I started making YouTube video reviews. So let's go from the bottom up. First we have the headphone, they are priced at 599 US dollars in official pricing, but they can be found for 399 US dollars currently. This places them at being around half the street price of Meze 109 Pro, which is a very affordable pricing, let me tell you that. It's like this one is, I don't even know what else can you purchase as a headphone around this price point. Like Harmonic Zeus, Verum 1, Mark 2, and like that kind of headphone. Even Avant 1 Pro Planar is pricier at this point, or at least at the same price at about 400 euros, if I'm not mistaken about its current street price. So this one is priced in the mid range at best, even though it is a flagship headphone. And I'll explain in just a second why. Although they do not come with a case or a transport carrying case like most other headphones, they do come with a balanced cable and I think that is much more useful because this is a headphone designed to be used indoors. This is not made to be taken outdoors. It is quite hard to drive. It has this beautiful design that I'm sure you can see the entire back plate is a grill and that means a lot of dust and other debris could get inside, even water if it starts raining outside. So they are basically made for you to listen indoors. You can quickly tell which is the left and which is the right because there are three dots that you can feel on the left ear cup. They also have notations. Once you place them on your head, you can feel them squeezing your head quite a little bit, but that is about it. They are comfortable. They have more than enough space for my ears inside. And the headband has a spongy texture that offers cushioning for the headphones. They are very light, so they are not heavy, but they can be quite tight on the head. So if you don't want a tight headphone, then maybe you should look for something else because they can be quite tight and I think you can loosen them up by stretching them but the headband seems to be made of plastic which doesn't really stretch that much. We have a balanced cable in the package with a 4.4 millimeter balance jack. We also have a single ended cable in the package and just because I started to feel a bit guilty I wanted to show you the official packaging that Sennheiser is sending those in. As I said although we do not have a transport case we have a covering pouch so that you can keep them dust free and protected while you are transporting them. Don't forget they are meant to be transported not used outdoors. The single ended cable is finished in a 6.3 millimeter single ended jack but we do have an adapter to a 3.5 millimeter connection so you can actually use them with any source you want except for XLR balance sources. So what is there to like about those headphones? First off, they are fully open back. So while you're wearing them, you will feel that they are truly open back. They offer no passive noise isolation. They will leak everything that you're listening to and you can actually take a good long look at the driver that is inside. The driver has been retuned to have more bass, a smoother presentation and to be more pleasing and more musical in general. And I think that Sennheiser succeeded quite well in delivering all of those things. First off, we have the sound because you are here for the sound let's let's be honest about it you probably know what sennheiser hd 660s is so how is the s2 different well it is much bassier now it has much better extension in the sub bass but the mid-range became so much more musical i mean with the original i thought that it was kind of dry very detailed but not incredibly musical the original was very good in resolution but at the same time it sounded a bit congested the 660s well the S2 is a whole new chapter. This is fluid, this is musical, this is super pleasing. 
And I will be honest, like I have been listening to those better than many of the flagships that I do have because of their special musicality. I finally understand what people have been talking about when describing the Sennheiser HD 600 as being incredibly musical and pleasing. This is how the S2 sounds like. It is so musical, so pleasing. Everything just flows naturally. And they do have a brighter treble. They do have a very good extension in the treble. They do have an excellent resolution, an excellent detail and clarity. But that's not why you'll be grabbing them. You'll always grab them for the incredible dynamics, the resolution they have and for the musicality. They have a very natural soundstage. It is not particularly wide or particularly deep, but the imaging and the instrument layering are very good. So you'll get a very clean image. You'll get a very good placement of instruments around you, but they won't extend very wide or very deep. Sennheiser is known to make the widest sounding headphone out there, the HD800S. So they clearly can make a wide their sound, but that is not the purpose of HD 660S2. Those are designed to sound natural, to be smooth and to be pleasing. And I think that they changed the sound so much from the 660S. Like this is a whole new headphone. I, I don't think that calling them the S2 is fair. They do have the same design. I mean, let's be fair, you wouldn't tell them apart if you just saw them. If they didn't have this little S2 here, you wouldn't know that they aren't the S or even the HD 600, they all share the same construction, the same ear pads, the same ear cup, the same everything. They, they don't creak while you're adjusting them. So that is interesting because as they are now selling at 399 US dollars, you may be wondering why, why are they selling so cheap? Well, it's for you. It's so that you can have access to better music, to better sound for cheaper, so that you don't have to make a choice between a good headphone and a good DAC or headphone amplifier. You can get both now. Sennheiser made sure that you can have access to all of those things and that you can enjoy music at all times. I really appreciate that. This is an European company from Austria. I actually met with a few guys from Sennheiser at uh, high in Munich. But the company had so many visitors, like everyone wanted to hear the new Sennheiser product. And I have to say this, some of their new stuff is incredible. Hopefully we'll get to be reviewing them too in the near future. And I will be able to tell you more about them because at High in Munich, I didn't have quite enough time to even remember the name of what I listened to. It was such a rush to be there, but it was really rushed at the same time. Everyone was queuing up so that they can listen to the new stuff and I only had a few minutes to do it. But yeah, Sennheiser knows how to make a really musical headphone. And now you know why. Why are they so popular? They even are popular with me and I have access to over 600 products at this point. Like I have access to other stuff. Sennheiser and their 660S2 are magical. This is like that headphone you always return to because it is so musical and pleasing, so fluid, so natural, and yet so effortless. This is a good word to describe them. They are effortless, they are never fatiguing, yet they have a good brightness in their sound. They always have all the detail and the resolution that you expect from a high-end headphone. It's, it's purely magical, like it really is. If you absolutely need a downside for any review and any product, they are still using the same connector as with the other HD 600 series of headphones, which is this two pin connector. I mean, it is used by Sennheiser and Sennheiser alone. So you will need to make cables only for them. But since they do come with a balanced cable, I don't feel the need to upgrade the cable. The cable doesn't carry on microphonics. And besides the tightness that they have on your head, they are quite tight. And the impedance, which is 300 ohms, they are like an ideal headphone in their price point. Why am I saying the impedance? Well, they will be quite hard to drive. You will be hard pressed to find a good source for them that doesn't cost quite a bit. The cheapest source that I think can drive them really well is the GDS Labs Atom Pro amplifier and that needs a dock. So you will have to spend about 200 to 300 US dollars to really drive the H160 S2. So the S2 needs quite a bit of power and even there, they might be a bit underpowered. There is more to gain if you get a better amplifier. So this is like a headphone that is really capable, but it needs a good source. I would be recommending Aun S9C Pro, which is absolutely excellent. Like that is one of my favorite sources for driving them. Both because I have it on my desk and I've used them together and I really like the pairing, but also because S9C Pro has this really wide soundstage, a colder, brighter tuning and a more analytical sound, but also a really wide and holographic soundstage. So from a natural sounding headphone, they can make the 
S2 sound even wider, even more holographic, and that helps a lot with the entire sound. So it doesn't sound narrow, it always sounds expanded. And that is a good thing because they make them more holographic, but they still hold their musicality, their refinement and their smoothness in the textures. So that is a really good painting that I would be recommending. Please check out the Aunes 9C Pro if you can. It is a really good x headphone amplifier. I have like zero affiliation with Aun. There is no reason for me to recommend it in particular. I just liked it a lot and I have it on my desk. So it is really close to my heart right now. So something I can recommend you because I like. The S2, well, the S2 is more than just a remake of the S. This, this is a whole new headphone. This is a whole new level of musicality, of smoothness and of refinement. This is much better than the S was and it gives us everything that we wanted when we first heard the S. Like I always wanted the S. I always wanted to love it. I always wanted to listen to it. But it always had a few things that weren't quite there for me. I, I mean, I even mentioned that in the full written review that they were a bit too dry for my liking. The S2 fixes everything. This is the sound that I've been waiting for. And honestly, I will keep listening to them. It's like, this is what I will be doing with them. I will listen to them. I will enjoy them. And this is what I hope you'll be doing as well if you decide to go for them. Don't forget, you can like the video if you enjoy the content and also to help boost me in the algorithms so that more people can see my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content from me. And if I've been a pleasurable host, you can donate if you feel like donating and if you want to help me improve my content and my process. Thank you so much for watching. I mean, I'm really grateful for having you here. If you stayed so far, really thank you. You are the hero. You are a king. Thank you so much. I hope that you'll be watching other videos and I hope we'll see each other really soon. Bye bye.